Greg Black again, Game Balance Designer on The Lord of the Rings, The Battle for Middle-Earth 2, here to give you some developer strategies when using the Elves. The strength of the Elves comes primarily from their unmatched archers and heroes. Elves are hard-hitting, extremely fast, and have excellent vision. Their low hit points and light armor means that Elves won't last very long in a straight fight, but they can dish out ranged damage better than anyone. The Elves, by their nature, are not very strong on the defensive. So if expecting an early rush, a 2 Malorn Tree 1 Barracks build order can be essential to your early game survival. Use this Barracks to pump out a constant stream of Lorian Archers and Mithlon Sentries. Mithlon Sentries are the key to keeping your Archers safe from enemy cavalry, and can be used to block enemy infantry from engaging your Archers directly. Another, more long-term strategy is the Silverthorn Arrow Tech Rush. Use Farsight to keep an eye on your enemy. If you're confident they're not planning on rushing you, begin rapidly expanding with Malorn Trees. Once you've got a strong economy going, build a barracks and use a horde or two of Lorian Warriors to begin creeping. With the extra cash your economy and creep hunting is bringing in, build an Eregian Forge and start teching up to Silverthorn Arrows. By now, you should have built up a nice force of Lorian Archers to defend your base. When the Silverthorn Arrows are ready, Immediately equip every Archer Horde and press the attack. In longer games, where enemy spells become a problem, Elves after all can't hold up very well in the face of direct damage, it may be necessary to eliminate the enemy's fortress quickly. Archers won't help you much in this endeavor, so your best bet is to use your Summon Ent Ally spell. Ents will fall quickly to pikemen or fire archers, so it will be necessary to clear them out of an enemy base before casting the summon. This can be accomplished in any number of ways. The first is to simply attack the enemy base and kill all of his forces. If successful, simply summon the Ents in and finish off the enemy fortress. If facing a numerically superior enemy, your best bet might be a bit of subterfuge. Order a couple of battalions and an expendable hero, say Haldir, to attack the enemy base. Make sure your hero is in a position where he'll take damage. Once he's nearly dead, order your forces to retreat. Seeing an opportunity to kill your hero and gain the initiative will likely pursue, giving you a chance to summon your Ents into his now undefended base. Rapidly take down his fortress and any production buildings you can find. If properly executed, this will render your enemy impotent, allowing you plenty of time to pick apart his army with hit and run attacks and Lorian Archer ambushes.